So, so here at the site this year, um, the majority, as it always is, is, is to do with varieties and looking at how they're responding um, both to background disease pressure but also to fungicide responses. And uh, this is uh, this section of the trial here. You can clearly see and you can probably tell by looking there as I go down that rep that that is the untreated. There is a very yellow plot of skyfall. Um, in the middle of picture at the moment. But over to the side, I have two different fungicide programs also across the variety run on that side. And as I pan across, there's also another two blocks here with different fungicide regimes heading down across the 38 varieties that are in the trial this year. Without doubt, yellow rust is the talking point uh, here at Hinton. Uh, there's a bit of brown rust appearing now, as I'll show you in Crusoe in a second, um, and uh, septoria levels generally very, very low, as um, you can see by looking in the other videos that I've taken in both the block of barrel and elation um, on the site where, you know, there are levels of septoria very low in the crop, only on leaf three, leaf four, rather than up on flag and leaf two. So the main thing to do really is to look at the untreated and uh, compare to one of the fungicide programs and I've chosen probably the simplest fungicide program I have at the site here this year. You might still say that's far too expensive on a number of varieties, uh, which it may well be, but it is the, the sort of the cheapest one I have here. That is a 100 grams of tebiconazole T0. It is then a 0.8 litres of aviator at T1 with a litre of Folpet. It is then a litre of Ascra at T2 with a litre of Folpet and then a litre of Firefly applied as a T3 application. Um, and this, as an example, this is untreated KWS Zayat here at the site and you can clearly see that as has happened in a number of places you hear about yellow rust has come home to roost in Zayat this year. This did not happen early. This is quite a late infection here at this particular site. Um, I know others have reported Zayat in other parts of the country having issues very early on in the season. That's not been the case here. Um, and as you can see, if I part the crop, you know, it is generally the upper leaves more than further down in the canopy that is, that is suffering from this yellow rust infection. That is, that is different to other varieties that will come to further down the trial. If I simply turn round and look at that uh, treated Zayat, treated with that program I've previously mentioned in here, you can see it is very clean from top to bottom. Generally, this program has held the yellow rust out of pretty much every variety on the site that has succumbed to it. There is one further down the trial that is so severe pressure um, of yellow rust that uh, some of the treatments have not quite held it out completely, although they have done a fantastic job compared to the untreated plot. And then almost next to Zayat we have uh, Skyfall here and you can clearly see, judging by the colour of this, that boy has it gone to uh, the yellow rust infection. This didn't happen early on, it had one little focus um, within the plot for quite some time and then this has really exploded um, through the plot probably since the T2 application. So in the last month, the T2 went on here on the 20th of May and you can see within here, you know, it is loused out throughout the canopy. Although again here, more so perhaps on the top leaves than further down. The leaves that were not there actually at the T1 timing, so flag and leaf two you know, the ones that are suffering probably more than others. Interestingly, as the leaves are dying off, perhaps you can see it on there, the little black dots, sort of the yellow rust is now producing the sort of teleospores, the resting spores, um, as the leaves are senescing off. Good news though, I simply turn around, cross the pathway, look in that treated plot on the other side, and uh, you can see in here, even despite that very, very high pressure, um, from yellow rust that we've seen in the untreated, this treatment and indeed the others on the trial, you know, looking very, very clean in here. So, you know, we know yellow rust is treatable. It's quite cheap to treat, actually, if it were the standalone pathogen you were trying to fight, tebiconazole, epoxyconazole, while we still have it, um, azoxystrobin, paraclostrobin, all effective, along with the SDHI mixtures, well, most of them um, will do a pretty good job on yellow rust if well timed. It's all about not leaving big gaps, which we haven't done at the site this year. We've been very well timed with our program. And then we come to Crusoe. And uh, whilst we know Crusoe 
is uh, fairly resilient to yellow rust and indeed this is one of the very few varieties that it's almost impossible to find any yellow rust in at all on the site. Um, what you may be able to see within this canopy certainly is that the other rust, good old brown rust as we'd expect on Crusoe, particularly with the weather um, as it gets even warmer this week, um, has come in on flag and leaf too within here. Um, it's only happened in the last few days. I was down at the site here towards the end of last week and I think I put a picture on Twitter. There was very few single sort of pustules of brown rust um, within this plot and here within a week it's exploded out um, onto the flag leaf and it'll be very interesting to see just how far this infection runs with the weather uh, through to sort of next week, come down early next week and have another look. Again, quite simply, nip across the pathway. Here's the treated Crusoe. And as you can see, you know, very, very clean flag leaves still. Uh, no brown rust evident, which is what I'd expect having only had the T3 not that long ago. And with, you know, fluoxastrobin within the T3 and the Firefly being a very, very good brown rust strobulurin. So I'd be very worried if I saw any brown rust in this plot at this point. So with, uh, with 38 different varieties uh, in the trial, I don't want to go through every single one that's in here um, through uh, fear of myself, not lest uh, you listening in, possibly dying of boredom. Um, so I'll sort of very quickly skip through some of them and maybe put a still image up of uh, sort of disease levels taken last week when uh, the weather was more overcast and therefore we get better pictures uh, of how the disease levels are in the untreated. So we've got Siskin and Ixtase next to each other here. Obviously we talk about Ixtase in some of the other videos uh, present on the site. Um, and just to stop on this one, just for interest sake, it's not just some of the ones uh, you know, that we've had established on the market variety wise for, for a while that are succumbing to yellow rust. This is a, a candidate, the candidate for group uh, two, I think probably in the end. This is uh, Seeker from Limograin here with pretty bad levels of yellow rust. This has had yellow rust in for quite some while, not just uh, a late infection like in some of the other varieties. Important one to stop at just because it's garnered a lot of attention quite rightly um, as a group three uh, coming through. This is KWS Firefly. Um, certainly there is rust now present within the Firefly here. I know a lot of people mentioned about seeing juvenile yellow rust in Firefly early on which may have been a bit of a surprise because it was touted as possibly having a good level of juvenile resistance. We didn't have early yellow rust here on the Firefly. It's again as with some come in sort of beyond the T1 timing um, and has now got going to a degree here within the untreated plot. As I say, if I were to turn around and show you the treated, it would be green from top to floor because, you know, we've kept the yellow rust out very well in the majority of the varieties. Move down to the four softs um, and there's two here or even three or four we can talk about next to each other in a run that uh, show some interesting differences. This first one um, is a, a skyscraper. Uh, within the run. Obviously, you know, popular, very, very early, very good yields. I think 104.9 on the list. So certainly it's still the highest or equal highest on the list um, for its yields. Um, and here, you know, looking good. The concern has always been perhaps that 5.4 Septoria triticae, but, you know, pretty clean in there within the skyscraper this season, even untreated. So next to the skyscraper here is uh, another group three that's getting uh, a reasonable amount of press, quite rightly. Interesting advert and indeed tattoo. Uh, this is uh, RAGT Saki uh, variety um, and uh, looks pretty good. Uh, did very well here last season. Been pretty clean throughout. Is now actually getting a little bit of yellow rust. Very little degree of yellow rust here in the untreated. Um, but uh, has been very, very good on this site over the last season or so. We've had it in here, so much so in fact that I've uh, moved my yen trial uh, to this variety this season and uh, it certainly has been looking pretty robust throughout the growing so far. Bit late, took a while to get going. It's probably not fair when you're sitting next to uh, Skyscraper uh, to compare when that was romping away sort of early April time and this uh, took a little while to get after it but as you can see now has certainly filled in quite nicely. Next one over, um, 
is uh, Skyscraper's sister. This is Spotlight, but uh, you can clearly see they're not twin sisters, um, judging by the very, very different level of disease uh, that we have in here. This has uh, fallen apart um, to yellow rust um, from a reasonably early stage too. So the next one I've uh, stopped at, it's quite a useful variety on the site because it uh, marks the start of what I call Yellow Rust Alley um, here, as you'll see in a second as we go down. Um, but this one is not as bad as some I'm about to show you for Yellow Rust. This is um, Insita from Syngenta. Um, has looked pretty good here on the site this uh, year. It's certainly pretty tall and uh, when you uh, run the old stick across it, um, it's quite slow to bounce back. So possibly I'm slightly worried about uh, lodging, although this has had a pretty robust PGR regime um, here on the site this year. Um, so from this point, here we go, let's say. Hopefully this will, uh, will show up um, with the bright sunlight, which is never the best for taking videos and photographs of, uh, of varieties in, particularly when it's yellow rust and it's reflecting back at you. Um, but the, the, the varieties, the next four, five, six, seven indeed, that I'm going to talk about all have quite reasonable levels of yellow rust in them, in the untreated. They're all completely clean, as I said, in terms of where we put treatments on but uh, not so good for yellow rust in the untreated. So here we have uh, KWS Kinetic, Gleam certainly in here has got uh, some levels of yellow rust within it. Uh, gravity, REGT Gravity there. Um, one that's been an absolute corker from the very earliest days of being at the site for yellow rust. This is Wasabi. Uh, obviously didn't really go anywhere uh, a few years ago when it first uh, came onto the list. Almost very, very bad for yellow rust. And Kerin, you know, here again looking uh, decidedly yellow um, within the trial. We then take a little bit of, of a break from yellow rust and um, find a variety that, to be honest, has looked pretty clean um, most of the way through in terms of certainly the major three foliar pathogens of Septoria, um, yellow rust and brown rust. And this is something that didn't make the list, perhaps a little bit unfairly, um, KWS Parkin. Um, and the reason I say unfairly is that we've often said, oh, when's the new Grafton going to come along? We want a, uh, a short, stiff variety fairly early you know, perhaps not the highest of yields, but this probably might have been it because it certainly is robust um, when you uh, wave the cane through it and it springs back up pretty well. It's certainly short. Um, and this year, despite not the greatest Septoria score on the list, it looks pretty good um, in there. In fact, let's have, a, let's have a delve in. You know, there you are, that's the parking, you know, which, you know, certainly perhaps a bit cleaner than some of those weaker um, scored septoria varieties that we looked at early on, the likes of the barrel um, and the elation. So following on from parking, we're back into a bit of rust. Um, and this is Shabras, uh, obviously from Syngenta. And you can see if I open it up, it's looking okay. It's a bit grubby now on top. There's brown rust as we'd expect coming in. There's some yellow rust in this one as well. You know, so one that will need careful attention um, if you're gonna be growing that. More yellow rust here, this again, Syngenta, this is Graham, you know, within here, some degree of yellow rust. So the usual thing with Graham is that on the leaves, there's sort of symptoms that you think, oh, blimey, that must be disease. But then you look in closer detail and you think, actually, not entirely sure quite what that is. Maybe it's physiological. We take a break from a number of diseases. Um, by looking at this one. Unfortunately, we also take a break from specific weight um, because this is Theodore, which you know does not have the greatest uh, spec weight uh, rating on the list. However, other than that, you know, this is the one thing that outdoes even it stays for Septoria score at an 8.2. Um, and you can see why it's very, very clean in uh, the foliar department. It's uh, that beautiful Crusoe gr green color as well that we've seen with Shamrock and Stig um, in the past uh, within here. So it's one that uh, certainly sh stands out when walking down the run and certainly stands out um, from the drone pictures. It also stands out because next door to it 
is this and this is Dunstan uh, untreated obviously um, and I mention this because this is without doubt the biggest disaster area when it comes to yellow rust of all the 38 varieties that are in the trial. You know there's a few contenders as we've seen with the likes of Skyfall and Kerin and Kinetic um, that are pretty bad too but this definitely takes the prize um, for yellow rust levels. You know I spin round and this variety here is the true test of how some of this chemistry is doing for horrific yellow rust infection and you can see here this is the um, aviator followed by Ascara program and I'll show you this because I'm being honest about it it's not perfect you know this is the one variety where the rust is so severe that it has actually escaped through um, the fungicide program that's been applied even despite the excellent timings. This is by far and away not the worst treatment within the trial either in terms of the yellow rust. There's a separate video um, with my colleague Rosie Martin um, discussing Dunstan and the yellow rust levels uh, available that talks about the different chemistries we have applied on the plots here for Dunstan and, and the differences between them. This is probably the second worst of the four treatments that I have at the site for yellow rust on this variety. And then we move on from the Dunstan to, to what is next to it and uh, this is what you call the old stalwart variety down at this end of the trial. Good old Costello, you know, still in here um, and uh, when you go into it and pull it open, you know, you look in there a lot of people would say, why change? You know, great bushel weight, you know, reasonable disease scores, you know, and again, looking pretty good here this year. It'd be very interesting to see where this comes on the untreated and treated yields um, when the trial is cut. There's then a couple more candidates. There's Cranium from uh, KWS here, down at this end of the trial. There's another nice lush green colour one here. This is Clipper from Syngenta, um, which I have to say has looked pretty good all the way through. I'll give them that. Um, and unlike some of the other Syngenta ones, you know, doesn't seem to be suffering as much from the rusts that the like of Graham uh, and Shabras have uh, got so far this year. And then we end the trial here with a plot of Silver Surfer.